Hi, I'm Reverend Sarah Skachko. Ya Amerikanka Ukrainskoho Pohodzenia. I'm a Ukrainian American. If you want to help my people, here's a short list of things you can do. One, if there's a protest against Russia in your city or a vigil in support of Ukraine, go to it. If there isn't, consider organizing one. You can also show support by flying a Ukrainian flag at home. I know that can feel like an empty gesture, but you can help build support and solidarity among Americans who might be on the fence. Two, donate, especially to the Ukrainian army. I know a lot of Unitarian Universalists are pacifists, but there is a difference between funding violence done to someone and funding the oppressed so they can defend themselves. And right now, Ukrainians are defending themselves. They're defending the right of Ukraine to exist and to exist as a democracy. They're doing it against one of the largest militaries in the world, and they're doing it with a military budget that is $6.2 billion less than the NYPDs. Right now, there are grandfathers in Kyiv who've never held a gun before, who are on their way to volunteer, and they're going to do so whether or not there's enough armor for them to wear. We can help with that today. The Ukrainian National Bank has opened an account where you can transfer money directly. Information about that is below. Three, I know some of you love to make calls to your elected officials. Now is your time. Pressure everyone to sanction Russia in every possible way to the severest extent possible. If you don't know what SWIFT is, Google that. Call your bank and financial institutions. What are they doing? We need Russia cut off from global financial networks. We need an embargo on Russian oil and gas. By the way, don't fill up at Luke Oil. And we need every Russian oligarch's mega yacht to be seized, their bank accounts frozen. They can't fight a war if they can't fund a war. Now, I know sanctions disproportionately affect civilians, and I have no desire to injure the people of Russia. But right now, due to government control of the media, there is still a lot of ordinary Russian citizens who have no idea what's going on. They'll know if there are sanctions. And what we've seen is that among Russians who become aware, there is massive opposition to this war. Four, you can donate to humanitarian organizations, including things like medical supplies, and there are links below to lists of various organizations. Five, one of the most important things you can do is to be educated. I'll include just a few articles to help bring you up to speed if you don't know what's going on, but also I want to warn you to not believe anything Putin says, don't repeat anything Putin says as if it were true, and also please be aware that Russia has a prolific and effective English language propaganda machine. If you're on Facebook, you likely see Russian propaganda every day without realizing it. And some of it looks like heartfelt anti-war messages for peace. And Russia spreads those to convince Americans not to intervene in what they're doing. Just be, just, just, be aware, please. Lastly, as a pastor and a Ukrainian American, I'm asking that if you want to offer a prayer this Sunday about this situation, please do not offer some generalized, non-specific prayer for everyone to get along or for the end of wars in general. This is not a two-sided conflict. This is a brutal one-sided invasion. And if you're not going to mention the people who are under attack, don't bother. I ask that you pray for the people of Ukraine, for their safety, their strength, their courage, and their victory, and that democracy itself will not die. Slava Ukraini. Thank you for listening and for your support.